Hello, welcome to People in Perspective. I'm Dana DeLeon, and joining me on the program is Police Officer Jesse Cano. Welcome to the program. Uh, thank you for having me. Um, Jesse, can you tell us your uh, background? Well, I'm a, I've been a policeman for 13 years for the Chicago Police Department. Uh, I started out at, uh, in the 15th District uh, for three and a half years. From there, I went to uh, Special Operations Section. Uh, and from there, uh, I took a test and uh, tried out for the SWAT team, made it. Uh, been there ever since. Hmm. Can you explain to us what some of the exercises in police training is? Uh, some of the exercises usually just for a regular patrolman are uh, usually a lot of running, a mile and a half run, which uh, usually people just train just by running. Uh, uh, the police work also consists of a lot of upper body strength. Uh, a lot of guys do a lot of weight training, uh, a lot of, uh, what do you call it, uh, circuit training, uh, just to keep in shape. Hmm. How do police officers usually interact with people today? In today's society, usually policemen approach people very professionally, courteous, uh, uh, with the demanding uh, structure of the city, which is multicultural. Uh, you have to understand every culture. Uh, you have to uh, be on your toes. Uh, sometimes it will surprise you. Uh, people act in uh, different ways. You gotta be uh, prepared to uh, to act on those uh, ways. Uh, but uh, for the most part, they, they come at them real professional and nice. Uh, uh, even though some people don't believe policemen are nice, we're one of the nicest people out there. Uh, but, but pretty much, uh, it's, it's, it's real courteous. Um, to you, what is police and police work in general now? Uh, it, it, it's changed a lot uh, with, with, with the changing of the times. You have to uh, also change with them. Uh, it's a lot of psychology involved. Uh, you have to be prepared to uh, solve a lot of problems, a lot of people problems. Uh, you at times have to be a dad. At times you have to be a mom. <laughs> at times you have to be a big brother. I mean, it, it just varies. On, on, on the assignment that you get. And uh, we get a lot of different assignments. Hmm. Okay. Um, what is police culture to you? Well, police culture, uh, it, to me, it's family. A lot of, a lot of guys uh, that I work with, I consider as family. Uh, my old partner, uh, you know, I'm sure people have heard this, but I'll, I trust him with my life. Uh, and I hope he feels the same way. But, uh, you know, um, people have a misconception of police that, uh, you know, they're mean and that, but policemen are just like every other people. They like rock and roll, they like rap, I mean, they, they like art. I mean, they like doing things as normal people like doing. Uh, but uh, that's pretty much it. Hmm. Yeah, um what is the police promotional exam? Can you explain that? Uh, the police promotional exam is an exam given by the department within. Uh, usually they test uh, a lot of areas. Uh, some examples are uh, canine officers, uh, sergeants, lieutenants, detectives. You have to take a promotional exam. Uh, you take a written exam at first, uh, and depending on the department that you're trying to get into, uh, you have to also do a oral interview. Uh, you have to talk uh, and uh, prove your promotion to your bosses, pretty much. Hmm. But yes. Um, what is exactly substance abuse among police? Well, substance abuse is pretty, uh, I wouldn't say high, but it's, it's up there. Uh, uh, a lot of guys, uh, I wouldn't say a lot of guys, but a lot of policemen uh, see things that normal people do not see. Uh, the stress level is uh, amazing. Uh, people usually at times uh, feel that uh, drinking or, or using drugs is a solution. Uh, but there's other avenues out there uh, to, to utilize. And, uh, you know, at times, you know, guys don't choose to do that. They choose to do the wrong instead of the good. Hmm. Can you explain to us, uh, well, what is the divorce rate among police? Is it high or low? It's a misconception there too. <laughs> Usually people think it's high, but it's pretty much, it's pretty much the low uh, from, uh, from statistics that I've seen. 
uh, usually divorce rates is mu uh, it's normal as a an accountant or a lawyer or anyone like that it's pretty much the same you know people think it's higher because of the stress level like you said and uh, but but it, like I said it's pretty much leveled off mm -hmm. um can you tell us some of the coping mechanics as you said you've seen uh, cops seeing things that normal people usually wouldn't. Can you uh, explain what some of the coping mechanics are for police officers? Well, the bad, there's bad and good. The bad, of course, I already talked about, uh, drugs, uh, alcohol, stuff like that. But the good ones are, like you said, uh, there, there's avenues out there. Uh, some guys like to lift a lot of weights. Like me personally, that's what I like to do. I also like to spend a lot of time with my family. Uh, uh, guys like to run. Uh, guys also like to, uh, you know, go out for a uh, little vacation here to the country just to, to let off some steam. And when they come back, they're refreshed, you know, ready to go. Um, as you said, you joined SWAT. Um, can you explain to us what, I would say, position you were? Well, uh, my position on the team right now, there's a four. Uh, let me start out by explaining the actual structure of the SWAT team. The SWAT team consists of four teams. Usually we, we call them squads. Squad A, B, and C, and D. There's four squads. Uh, I, I'm currently assigned to Squad C. Uh, they um, usually, like I said, they test. You got to test for the position. Uh, it's much more uh, strenuous than any regular test. A lot of physical uh, uh, demanding things are required for you to be on SWAT. You have to do a mile and a half within, I believe, 10 minutes. Uh, you also have to do 60 push-ups, 60 sit-ups, pull-ups with a weighted vest, helmet, and, and a dewy belt. Uh, you have to do a height test. You go up the ladder and down. Uh, you have to do uh, tread water for 10 minutes. Uh, from there, you have to don off all your gear while you're treading water and keep uh, what we call our service rifle up on, on top of your head while you're treading water. Uh, you have to swim the length, half the length of the pool underwater, come back. Uh, you have to uh, do a psych test. They test you on, a, uh, on your uh, mental capabilities as well. And you also have to uh, be a proficient shooter. Mm, uh, well, I wanna, th I wanna thank my guests for being on the show today. I'm Dan DeLeon and we'll see you next time on People in Perspective. Mm -hmm.